we have already seen some mechanisms which can trace straight lines and then we saw mechanisms uh, basically cams higher pairs uh, which could trace uh, you know a set of such uh, straight line segments okay forming regular polygons so far we have seen a triangle and uh, a square tracing mechanism or cams here we are going to see a pentagon uh, and this is the last one in this series before we generalize this to n gons so let's start with uh, you know putting a guide around this so this is a pentagonal guide uh, in which we are going to place a rotor and this rotor has all its uh, sides you know, of the profile uh, made out of circular arcs and these two circular arcs one down here and one up here are uh, you may call them as nose radii and the center of those arcs over here will necessarily straight uh, necessarily trace straight lines okay, like this which are parallel to the guiding pentagon side for obvious reasons this is like a wheel rolling on the ground so the center of that wheel will retain a constant distance from the ground and that is nothing but the radius of the field so that's what uh, we are doing here now let us just make it more interesting by going into 3d so let's have a 3d guide here I'll render this and let us go into isometric uh, I'll add the rotor of course 3d this time and uh, set things in motion so we have a 3d guide now and uh, it is guiding this 3d rotor on the rotor you will notice there are two protrusions some people call it boss okay, so on these bosses we are going to place our tracing points and uh, of course uh, we can even uh, place the pencils and these pencils will be tracing the pentagonal path we were looking for so this is our arrangement the physical arrangement in 3d Now one last remark before we close this clip and move on to the theory behind this and also look at uh, generalized cams which can draw n-sided polygons. Uh, let me tell you that I have generated all these cam profiles using purely geometric means. Uh, I could have taken the algebraic approach where one uses trigonometry, forms equations and solves them simultaneously to get uh, you know all these uh, lines arcs circles their uh, locations the intersection of uh, those but this approach is rather tedious uh, forming those equations and solving them is very tedious not only that but the results that you get uh, you will have to uh, deal with those you know uh, long decimals and you chop them off somewhere uh, do approximation because ultimately you have to construct it uh, instead if you take a geometric approach you know uh, you do constructions you draw lines and arcs and circles which are nothing but equations and then you find their intersections uh, which are nothing but their simultaneous solutions and by doing this you are doing the algebraic process but in a much more convenient and fun way and the added bonus is that by the time you finish doing this the profile is already there, something that we are looking for. Uh, the algebra is not going to give you that. Algebra will just give you numbers which will have to convert and construct uh, into a profile. So I like this approach, hope you will too. Uh, in fact, the uh, goal of this uh, ch channel is uh, to present to you the convenience and fun geometry can bring to mathematics.